Okay, so what I've done is I've typed out five different font names to play around with. Um, these are these are system fonts. These are fonts that I've bought. I don't mess around a lot with buying fonts unless there's something specific somebody wants uh, because they're this one I bought, Black Olives. This one behind the behind script is already on, and so is Amarillo, and I like them. They're pretty. So what I do is I go over here to the left and I hit my my uh, text button and I'm going to type in my name T R A C I. Right now this is text. I'm going to go up here to my select button and I'm going to just drag it out, and make it bigger. And I already have this this font family um, uh, box up, but it's right up here, the T, you can bring it up like that. So then I'm gonna select this and I'm just gonna use Amarello and I'm gonna hit apply. So it looks kind of weird right now because it's still text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to a picture by selecting path and object to path. And now you can see that it looks normal. So right now I can't edit this text because it's a picture. It's no longer text. You can go back and I can show a different time to, you can either start over, you can make it back into text again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that smaller. Now I'm gonna manipulate it to bend it. And I'm gonna take Tracy these I've already changed into pictures. I've already done path object to path. So I'm going to take Amarillo on the top and Tracy on the bottom. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to go up to the same place, path, and all the way down is path effects. That changes this box over here, and you're going to see a plus. You'll see path effects up here, and you'll see a plus. I'm going to hit that plus. And it's already on bend, but it gives you a lot of different options. I haven't played around with a lot of them, but bend, and I'm going to add. So now what I want to do is hit the node, get the node editor, and highlight it. If you see, that has put a line right in the middle of the word Amarillo. And so I'm going to grab onto that with my, my select button and, and hold on to it and I'm going to just drag it up. And I can go over this way, I can go over this way, and I just let it go. So the, these little bars can also manipulate it to where you want it. So right now, that's where I want that, and I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go back over to my select button. Whoops, I don't wanna do that. I'm going to go to my select button and hit this. I've kind of moved that, but we'll just ignore that. I'm going to again hit the button, the plus, hit bend, and hit add, and hit my node selector. It's going to put this bar in the middle, and I'm going to bring this one down. So I can take it down. I can take it up. Obviously, different fonts are going to give different effects. I don't like this one, so I wouldn't use this for my name, but this longer name looked really nice. So that that's how you do that. Let's hit the uh, select button again, hit Ravi, it highlights the whole thing. I hit the plus button, make sure bend is selected, push add, and hit the node selector. Once again, it puts that green line across. I'm gonna left click on that and drag it up and it's now it's all bent I'll do it with the black olives whoops hit my select it highlights that I add a plus make sure bend is there push add grab this node selector it puts this green bar and I'm gonna bring this one down and just left click and bring it down and it takes a little bit getting used to, but so now, now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to 
select this one and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to grab Amarillo and black olives and I'm going to move move this I'm going to move this up here so let's say those are my words that I want to use so then I would just take that select bar and I'm going to highlight both of them actually I'm going to sh take shift ah, don't look at my dirty I'm going to take shift and I'm going to object and I'm going to group those now that's one thing and so I'm going to take this and move it down here I can delete all this whatever I've done here now being as I've grouped it when you get to the design space you can ungroup it so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up and it's uh, both of them are already objects to path and I am going to save it and save as I'm going to save it as down here it says Inkscape SVG that's it's just a simple black word so that's what I save it in I'm going to save it in let's see Seahawks SVG no we don't want to do that let's go to pictures I'm going to make a new file that just says um, um, extra extras and the drawing is in there and I'm saving it in extras so now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit my design space which I'm already in and go back out of here do I want to cancel this yes yeah, sorry about this I should have had it all gone and hit new replace okay so now I go to here I'm going to upload see these are other um, orders I've gotten and I just do it that way I'm going to browse and I am going to my pictures and I'm going to find extra right there and there's my drawing when this comes up I know that I've saved it as an SVG I've, I know I've done it right and believe me I do it wrong sometimes so now highlight that I'm going to open that and there are uh, that's what we just did and I'm going to hit save and there it is and I'm going to insert that into my to my project and mine always save really small but I don't care because I can um, I can uh, make them bigger so now I'm going to ungroup that and you can ungroup that and you can move that around you can move that around and you can even um, unlock that you could even you know make it more you know, bend it more here's you can do the same thing unlock it and bend it more that way go that way anyway so that's how I do this I'm sorry if I rattled um, and sorry about the not very professional videos but at least that gives an idea of how I how I do this. Hope this helps. Just message me if you need any more help. Bye.